It's important to point out that even though Prime Minister Hariri tendered his resignation to President Aoun yesterday, it has not yet been officially accepted. Uh, the president's office said that they are analysing it today. He's going to meet with different ministers, presumably to try and figure out what they can do in this situation. Now, I've been speaking to some constitutional lawyers who say that actually in the Lebanese constitution, there is no provision for the president to refuse the, the resignation of a prime minister. People have been pointing to 2017, when Saad Hariri resigned famously, of course, when he was in Saudi Arabia. Many people say he was kidnapped and held there and forced to resign. But the difference there was, firstly, that he was abroad. He didn't tender his resignation in person to the president. And also, of course, there were suspicions that he was being forced to do it, that he was being lent upon by a foreign power. This is a different situation. So if that is accepted, as we presume it will be, there are a few things that could happen. The first thing that could happen is the current parliament, because, of course, the cabinet falls, the current parliament can try to elect elect a new prime minister and see if they can keep functioning under the current government as it was elected last year. That is very unlikely with all these sectarian groups fighting against each other about who they can all unite to support as prime minister. Of course, we have Hezbollah there and Amal, the other Shia group, and then we have the Christian groups, and then we have the, the Sunni groups, the major one of which was the future movement, which is uh, Saad Hariri's party. So whether they would all be able to come together along with the other smaller factions and decide on somebody is very unclear. The other possibility is that the president says to Saad Hariri, OK, but you need to be char in charge of a caretaker government until the point that we're able to elect and put in a new cabinet. Now, the the problem for Saad Hadidi, if that happens, is that he would have such limited bureaucratic powers under a caretaker government that he couldn't address any of the huge economic and social problems that the protesters are talking about. So that's the political situation with the current politicians. The other side of it is civil society. What protesters are saying, particularly the diehard activists who've been fighting for change for years, is that they want an entirely new political system, as I said, getting rid of these factional divides, these sectarian voting system. But that will take a lot of time. And there is no heir apparent at the moment from that civil society. They did try and field independent candidates last year in the election. There was much excitement. And in the end, not many of them uh, were actually able to get in. So we will see whether they're able to come up with some viable candidates if we move into a situation where they're looking for entirely new politicians.